create and uh, run projects uh, for developing new and innovative applications of Earth observation data. Meaning that we, we use images of the Earth taken by satellites for a variety of, of users in industry, science, um, or for governmental institutional applications. After the Master of Environmental Science, I applied for a YGT position in, in ESTEC, which would be a perfect move on after my, my Master, but I decided in that point of time, it was a difficult decision, but I want, went on to do a PhD in the University of Zurich in Earth Observation, and it turned out to be a very good solution. My subject of uh, PhD was um, Forestry, forestry monitoring, forest fires, carbon um, sequestration, all these kind of issues. And uh, that led me on to a postdoc position in, in ESA, which I applied for as a research fellow. And there we focused on the preparation of the new um, Sentinel-2 mission for forestry monitoring. And uh, that already gave me some kind of insight how ESA worked I mean, on the scientific part, but also on the management skills, which is, are needed to run the project within ESA. Finally, uh, that was a two-year period. I went back to, to science for a very short peri period and finally um, applied for the position I'm in, I'm in now. Well, exploitation is a big word, but it's a meaning basically that an image taken from a satellite is only digital numbers. It's colorful images in the best case. But what we want to do is really to add value to it and use it for, for let's say, applications like forestry or um, let waste management. Exploitation is to use data for a good, certain purpose. To understand what applications make sense to exploit and, and to use data for is uh, to interface with a lot of users. And uh, there we, I, I'm talking to, to scientific people, we talk to industry people or to, to more uh, governmental agencies. And there we, we I'm, I'm encountering a lot of, a big variety, diversity of, of personalities and uh, interests which is giving a lot of inspirations for new ideas and innovation in our field. And that um, is causing something like what you could call a big melting pot of ideas, giving you inspirations, and that is inspiring for sure. On one hand, you need a scientific background in your field of work. It might be oceanography, it might be land monitoring, it might be atmospheric. But that is only one part of the picture. You also need a lot of um, management, uh, more um, communication skills. During my PhD, I tried to actually uh, be involved and even manage small type of projects for, for NASA or even um, for, for, for European Space Agency itself. I mean, you can apply for these kind of little projects and run them. I was aware that once at ESA you would be traveling to make sure the different projects split over Europe is, um, are working. That I knew, but it's how it works out in the day-to-day the -day life, I mean, I had to experience myself. It's, it's, it's sometimes quite demanding, but uh, it gives you also the, the possibility to get to know the people in the, their own environment and understand their problem more. I only can emphasize that the international environment is really amazing to work in, in, in Italy, but also in Estrin, where you have all the different nationalities. And at the same time, they, they all have some kind of a similar spirit. So it, it's, my colleagues are really amazing people to work with.